ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sim Airport. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back here at Conflict Nerd International Airport, where things are going rather interestingly. Security is not good enough. That's the gist of our problems. Security is just not good enough. So, the first way that I'd like to fix that is by going to pricing and knocking that up to 1500 and 50 for runway usage per usage, rather, runway per usage, and uh, my terminal usage per passenger. So we're gonna change those prices, we're a little bit more pricey. The next step is getting another bit of conveyor belt just in here, so that uh, luggage from the ticket desks just here can get filtered through to the various aircraft. Because right now we have a golf cart picking it all up, and that's, that's not really what we want to see. So that'll hopefully help getting the luggage out to the planes. It's not going to do anything for the morning rush of passengers. A lot of these guys, they're just going to be leaving. They are not going to be happy, but they're going to just leave because they missed their flight or whatever. Now, the problem that we have with security is that it's not in a very fortunate position. It's uh, right in the middle of baggage claim and the gates. Which poses an issue because I wanted to bring a corridor down around security and up to baggage claim. Now the reason that's a problem is because if I bring a corridor across here and into baggage claim, then close that off, we no longer have the room for more of a security area unless I get rid of the restrooms, which I don't want to do. So what I'm thinking is that we move baggage claim into its own building all the way down here. Then we move uh, pickups to down here as well. That gives us a lot of room to expand the departures area, which is going to be this building. We're gonna, we can expand departures considerably. We can put a restroom down towards uh, baggage claim and arrivals as well. We could put a cafe down there. There's a lot of things we could put up uh, down there that we could also put in the general departures area. We could have room up here to put in cafes and all that stuff to keep people happy. So it's very tempting, is what I'm getting at. It is very, very tempting indeed. The issue with doing something like that is that, number one, we can't get rid of this fence. Otherwise, what we're going to end up doing is making the airport itself uh, unsecure. We're gonna be, it's not gonna be secure at all. Basically, no planes will land. Uh, why did you fail to reserve a gate? I guess the plane, I guess that plane just didn't have room. That's interesting. I feel like we probably want to get a third gate at some point. I feel like that could be a good idea. I might, oh, you know what I could do? I could look into getting the, the large gate. 42,500 and we can get the large plane gate. Which is tempting. That's very tempting, because then we can go ahead and... Oh, no, we can't handle the passengers we currently have. No, that's a terrible idea. That is that is a dreadful idea to get the bigger plane gate right now. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to build, and we're going to go to foundations. And I want to go and increase my loan. I know we just started paying it off, but I want to increase it again, because we're going to put it to good use. And I want to make, like, a... A 15 by 15 building, if I can. So 15 by 15. Can I do it? I can, but just. And I feel like that could be, that could be arrivals, you know? That could be what we need, or maybe like a, 50, a 20 by 10 building or something. 20 by 10 is actually a little bit cheaper. So I think we'll go for a 20 by 10 building. So, let's do it close to this fence. Let's do it like there. So that is 20 by 10. Just like that. So we're going to do it there, and then what we can do is go to fence, and we'll do a bit of fence just there, and a bit of fence just there. And that'll hopefully connect to the building and connect to the fence that exists already. Then we can eventually go and demolish the sections of fence that are in front of this building, which are all connecting to it quite nicely, so that's absolutely beautiful to see. Now what we're going to need to do is go to doors, and we need to get ourselves a sliding door on this. In fact, you know what we need? We don't need a sliding door. We need... Well, actually, we, we could get away with sliding doors. So let's go for a couple of um, sliding doors. I could go for a large one right in the middle. 
which is probably not a bad idea. So we'll get a large sliding door right in the middle of that. And then I want to go to build, and I want to go to walls. And I want to do this, and then I want to get this bit built. So that I can do a couple of sections of wall just there, if they would hurry up and do it. There we go. So that's not been done. So those bits of wall go in there. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go to objects, gonna go to security, gonna get a security exit. Which is technically gonna make this, uh, a secured area. Then what we can do is go to objects in general. We can get ourselves a food vending machine just there and just there. And now once this is done, that should technically be a secure area, I think. We're gonna find out. So if I go to build and I go to demolish and I say I don't want that there. I do sincerely hope this works. I really, really do. Uh, so that fence is now working exactly the way I wanted it to. If I go to door and I go to large sliding door, I can just throw this right in the middle of that wall. And is the airport still secure with that door there? I think it is. It looks like people, people are actually coming through this at the moment. Uh, for some reason we terminated a Ford Air. Why don't we just terminate? Why don't we, why don't we terminate a flight? We have, we just terminated a flight. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe they did it. Maybe they weren't very happy with the pricing. Uh, like people are coming into here. People are using it and it is still a secure area. They're all coming down here to get into this space, which is a bit weird, but that's totally fine. So the plan is going to be to put baggage claim in here. Like this room is just going to be baggage claim. So if we got a baggage carousel, we could put one there and we can't actually put one down there, but we can put a couple sort of back to back or something. No, it's a weird size. I don't like the size of the baggage claim. It is a really, really strange size. I can't put them like that either. Huh. Not really sure what way I'm going to do this, to be honest. Um, maybe... Eh, we'll figure it out. I can't put it like that, but I can put it sort of sideways like that. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out a better place to put baggage claim. We do need to make some money, though. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go to airline interest and we're going to see if we can get another morning flight. That's a nighttime one. I'm not interested. Uh, I can't take any from you. Star flight has a morning flight, so we'll take that. And we'll go to schedule and we can see if we can get that in there. Uh, it is in there, so let's move it back a little bit. Can I get another morning flight? You know what? It doesn't matter. We're about to hit the morning rush, which is actually a bit of a bit of a concern, really. Because that is... It's going to be rough, is, uh, is what the morning rush is going to be. Definitely going to be a little bit rush, uh, rough. Are these people just walking home? Yeah. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna walk home, fair enough. I mean, to each their own, I suppose. If they want to walk home, I'll not stop them. Just doesn't seem like something you'd want to do from the airport, because the airports are usually in the middle of nowhere, but... Alright, you do you. And I'll do what I need to do. So, what I need to do is, I need to go to objects, no, I need to go to build. I need to go to foundations. And I need to see about bringing some foundations out like this, as far as I can possibly take it. So that's 54,000 right there. Not very big, is it? But it's going to have to do. We basically have to fill all of this in with a corridor. And that's going to be tricky. Uh, that is going to be really tricky. But what this is going to do, actually, is block all of this off. So these passengers will be routed back through the terminal, which is actually what I'd like them to do. So these guys are going to be a little bit stuck. They're going to want a door, but they're not going to get one. This is, this is going to be a good thing, because this will stop them from coming out of the terminal and across the grass. It'll just push them back through the uh, terminal until everything else is done, which is exactly what we want them to do. So if the construction guys would hurry up just a little bit. There we go. So these guys are all going to head back. They're going to head back into the terminal, across the grass, around the planes, and everything should be fine. Uh, so this bit over here, we're going to extend down to there. And we're getting very close. We are getting very, very close to being able to uh, to make this work. We are very low on money, which is obviously a bit, of, a bit of a concern, especially since the next plane doesn't land until 
Uh, let's see. So these two planes were cancelled, which is actually a bit of a big deal. Because they couldn't reserve a gate. Three planes are en route at the moment. This one's not due to leave until three. So you leave at four as that one's supposed to be landing. So if this, if Aero Time, if the CRJ900A1 doesn't leave on time, this one won't land. That's a bit of a problem. That is definitely a bit of a problem. We're going to need to uh, keep an eye on that. We probably want to look into getting planes to land at different gates. I'm pretty sure that is that is a thing you can do. I'm pretty sure there's either a thing in scheduling or it's a thing you can research that will let you... I don't, I don't know if there is a thing that does it, but I could swear there is a way to determine where your planes land and what gate they go to. I don't know. I've, I've heard that that's a thing. I, I can't, I can't guarantee, I can't confirm whether or not it is actually a thing. Now you've landed and given me $4,200, which is not bad at all. Gotta get a couple more planes in the ground though before I can uh, properly celebrate. There's another plane coming in. That's gonna be $7,450. Let's get another plane in here. Are you... So you're boarding. There's 42 people need to get on this plane. And it is now due to leave. So it's now leaving, which is good. This plane starts boarding in... Well, no, uh, but no one's there to actually get people onto it. Why are none of my staff around here? Right, um, one, two, and three. Right, so they're now boarding that plane. I don't know why there was no staff in there. That was very, very strange. Up to 23,000, not bad. This plane is very late, so we're probably going to have a cancelled flight somewhere. This one's boarding. This one's not going to board in time, is it? Or, no, this one is not boarding in time. But it is leaving. We are getting a little bit more money there. I'm assuming, yeah, we had another plane cancelled. We've got more in route. We've got four in route. I do sincerely hope we can solve these problems. Uh, I do think this is step one, though. Getting people down to here as the main way out of the airport seems like a pretty good idea. I'm just aware that I am going to have to route baggage claim down to here. And I'm going to have to uh, move the carousels and all that stuff. But let's go ahead, back into build, let's get a foundation, and let's come down like this. Almost. Almost did it. There is a plane landing. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to be enough money. So we'll go to there. And we'll eventually be able to do that. Which is going to be really nice. So if my builders wouldn't mind getting this done, that would be just great. I'm also thinking that we can probably get rid of the security gates there. Eventually. Uh, so, let's go to build. Let's go to foundations and connect these, possibly? Yeah, that'll work. So that should connect everything together and start routing some passengers down this way. Which is going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm kind of excited to see this work. I'm kind of really excited to see this work. Because it should do what I want it to do. And we should see inbound passengers going down here. So these guys are going to get off that plane. And those that aren't going to baggage carousel. Actually, most of them went down there. And then they went straight to pickups. But then they're going to the baggage carousel. So yeah, this will absolutely work. Which is pretty darn cool. So a baggage carousel is 5,000. Um... I can technically afford two of them. The question is, do I want to afford two of them? The answer is not entirely. I am not entirely sure that I do. Um, but I think I will. I think I'll get two of them. I'll get one there. I'll get one there. We can't afford to bring any of the conveyor lines done here yet because it's 300 per section. Uh, so obviously quite pricey. But, what I think we can't, well, actually, you know what, we probably can afford to do this. Not all of it, but uh, at least a decent length of it, yeah. So that'll come down to there. And that did cost 9600 to do, so uh, not entirely cheap. Bring that over to there, and connect it to that bit. 
if we can. Can I not do that? So that works. So that's going to let some baggage come down to there. And what we need to do is bring some baggage this way as well. So that should link those around and that should totally work. And then I can go ahead and make this an extra bit of security. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's going to be so good. That's absolutely going to work. We just have to uh, get everything connected. So let's go to zones. Let's go to baggage claim. Let's make this a baggage claim area. Just like that. So these guys can now start collecting their bags, right? No, that's not all connected yet. But it's very close to being connected. Which is kind of exciting. If I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, can you finish that bit, please? There we go. So yeah, this is my baggage claim. And that'll totally work. Let's go ahead and demolish this. Just like so. Let's demolish that baggage carousel. And let's set this to be none over here. And that gives us room to make a significantly bigger security area. Oh, that's pretty cool. I am really pleased with that. I am really, really pleased with that. Uh, so the pickups zone is going to need to be moved. So get rid of that. And let's move pickups to here. So right there in front of uh, in front of baggage claim. We'll add a little bit onto uh, each side of pickups as well. But that should work. That's that's totally fine. That's that's I'm really pleased with that. So that means that no one's going back through the airport terminal to get to baggage claim. Like they get off a plane, they go a separate way through a corridor, and that's all they need to do. That's beautiful. Love it. Right. So security is the uh, is the next task. We're going to need to figure out how exactly security is going to work. Now, what I'm thinking first is this large sliding door is going to be destroyed because I don't want that to be there anymore. I want to put some walls in there so that this is going to be a secure area. What I'm thinking is security is going to just take up this entire lower part of the terminal. So once you go through ticketing, you go straight into security, straight into the, the gates. And then I think opposite the gates, we could do some cafes. That seems like it would probably be a pretty good idea. So now that that's got a wall, let's go ahead and go to zones and massively expand security. So security's going to go like that. That's, that's probably fine. Um, let's go to objects, which I think we can't afford. So if we go to bag scanners, we are going to want, I guess, something like this. So a bag scanner there and there with the body scanner uh can i not have this face up oh dear well that's a bit of an issue so the body scanner can't face the way i need it to face which makes me think that i'm probably just gonna want a metal detector which isn't anywhere near as efficient but i think we're gonna just have to go with it so metal detector metal detector and we just want a bunch of these across here. And I sincerely hope this works. Uh, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. That's fine. We want to get more bag scanners, which are going to go like that and like that, like that and like that and like that. So that is a significantly expanded security area which we could expand a little bit further. I'm just not convinced by these uh, metal detectors, if I'm being honest. Don't think they're going to be as efficient as I'd like them to be. But we just have to deal with it. We're going to need a lot of staff for this as well, now that I think about it. Definitely going to need a lot of security staff to uh, make this all work. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. I mean, at least we're making money. And at least this is an expansion on the security area. Which we've needed, so... We'll see what happens, I suppose. Uh, let's see, can I move this queue? Because that's a thing I think we're going to need to do. I think what I'd like, actually, is to go to objects first and go to ID check stands. 
And I want to put ID check stands just... Maybe there and... Let's see. Yeah, there and there. Or possibly... Let's do them like this. Let's do them so they're always to like the left of the security things. So that should be fine. Let's uh, cancel you. That queue really needs to be shifted. It really, really does need to be shifted. I'm not entirely sure what way we're going to uh, do that, but you know what? We're just going to go and delete the queue for the time being. It is going to make a bit of a nightmare for security, but the queue just needs to go until I can uh, make this whole thing work. Uh, so let's start deleting and destroying some of the security stuff over here so that passengers are going to be incentivized to go to the newer stuff, which is unfortunately not the ideal stuff. I kind of want the body scanners, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get to use those. I mean, at least a lot of this, it seems like they're getting through. It seems like this is possibly working. We'll get ourselves another ID check stand. We'll throw it there and throw it there. And my security staff seem to be doing a reasonable-ish job. People are getting through, and it seems like people are getting through quicker than ever before, so we've got that going for us. We could very well get more security over here, but I don't think we're going to need it. I think what we need is to go to queues. We need to expand a queue. And what I want to do is bring some queues like this. I actually want to uh, also demolish this and demolish that ATM as well, because I think it's going to be in the way. Uh, so expand this queue back to about there. Bring it down like that, and that's going to be fine. So this queue is going to come up like that, go down like that, and have a similar pattern. This queue is going to have a similar pattern as well. We're going to need to move those ticketing kiosks. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with the queue over here, but we'll figure that out. Let's get these ticketing kiosks out of here, because those are not all that ideal. This uh, security desk here, if I can select it, will be assigned to that queue. This security desk will be assigned to that queue. And this security desk will be assigned to that queue just there. So now people are able to use individual queues to get their ID checked. Bag scanners can't be assigned to queues. Metal detectors can't be assigned to queues. But people seem to be getting through security a little bit quicker than they were before, which is exactly what we wanted. So if we go and expand this queue like this, this one technically can exist, but it slightly blocks the restroom, which, well, people are just going to have to deal with, really. Uh, assign you to that and assign you to that. So there we go. Each one of the ID checked stands now has a now has a thing. Now some people are complaining around here, which is not really my problem. Not a lot I can do about that. Uh, but what I would like to do is go to wall and bring a wall down like this. So people are going to be fed around, you know, through the metal detectors and out over here, which I think is going to be a good idea. And looking at that, I reckon I can just go ahead and clear out this particular uh, security zone here. I don't think we need it anymore. This is the new security setup, which I kind of happen to really like. So we can actually get a couple of doors done here as well, which I think will be a pretty great idea. So sliding doors can go right there at the exit of security. And I'm also thinking I could maybe get some, like, an ATM or something. So if I get an ATM, I can throw an ATM just at the, like, beginning of security or something. Maybe. I could put an ATM there and there and... I could put one there. I think I'll do it. And we'll get ourselves a vending machine or two as well. So we get food vending just there and there. Pretty sure they can't take them through security, but, you know, we'll get them anyway. That'll keep everybody happy. But this looks pretty good to me. This does look like a bit of a better security experience for passengers. It does look like it is going to be easier to get through. It does look like it's going to be uh, a little bit quicker, but it does look like we do need significantly more security staff. So let's place you 
Then you're going over to that metal detector. You're going to that metal detector. You're going to that one. That one. Then that one. Then that one. No, you're not. You're going to a bag scanner. And so are you. You're going to bag scanner. And a bag scanner. How many staff am I going to need? I'm going to need a lot. I'm going to need a heck of a lot here. Good lord. So you're going to go there. And you're going to go there. Now that looks like all of them. Now there are some passengers here who I am going to just send home. Although I'm thinking these guys might have already been on their way home. Because they don't seem like they're moving anymore. Which isn't really my problem, if I'm being honest. It's just a bit of a pain in the butt. Either way, we're about to hit the morning rush. So this is going to be the real test for the new security setup. This is going to be the moment of truth as to whether or not this actually ends up working. It also looks like people are going through the metal detectors the wrong way. But I'm pretty sure there's not a lot I can do about that. As long as they're going through, that's all that really matters. And it certainly looks like they are. There's a lot of people here, though. A lot of people getting their tickets. We do need to get the ticketing kiosks back in here at some point. But for the most part, they are moving through security quicker than they ever have before. And there's so many people in here at the moment. I'm really happy with this, actually. Uh, let me go to objects. Let me go to benches. Let me see about getting some benches in here. So that's like the middle right there. So if I put a bench just there and there, I'll put some benches opposite like this. I'm just going to get a bunch of these in here so people have a lot of places to sit, which I think is going to be really important in terms of uh, keeping them happy. So give them a lot of options for seating. We can get them some decorative bushes if we want to. Some passengers might appreciate it, which um, I'd be for. I'd, I'd, I'd like them to appreciate it. But uh, I'm going to be honest. Seems like a lot of work. So instead, I'm going to get electronics vending. Just there. And... Well, actually, that really should be against the wall, shouldn't it? Put it against the wall there and against the wall there. Get them some food vending there. And we can put them an ATM next to that. And maybe an ATM. No, we'll not bother with an ATM there. That's fine. So that'll give passengers a lot more options in terms of seating. Immediately out of security as well. So that'll hopefully keep them really happy. And a decent number of them seem to be using it as well. So, you know, they seem to be enjoying themselves. This plane's huge. Good lord. Boeing 767. Uh, 90 something, 30 minutes left. Most people are boarded. Not bad. That plane looks like it's actually going to... Yeah, that left on time. This one over here looks like it is boarding as well, which is beautiful. Seems like it might end up leaving. No, that plane's probably going to have a bit of a delay. It does look like the queue for this particular gate is really inefficient because people have to get to the end of the queue, then they kind of go to the desk, and then they go back. So I might want to change the way that queue's laid out, but we'll do that eventually. What I'd really like to do is go to build, go to floors, and get myself some, like, blue carpet or something for the uh, security area. I feel like that could be an idea. Or just the sort of brown carpet or something. I don't know. I just I want something nice. I think the blue carpet can go in here. It's also kind of expensive, but... We'll go for blue carpet in there. Uh, apparently a plane might have just been cancelled. It's 11.27, which is cancelled, would be the 11 o'clock. So yeah, the 11 o'clock plane wound up being cancelled because it couldn't reserve a gate. That's unfortunate. That is definitely unfortunate. Can I afford to do this? 12,000, yeah. And then I can afford to do that, which is beautiful. Not bad. So we're going to get ourselves a nice carpet in the, uh, I guess it's the departure lounge at this point. We do need to make security look nicer, of course, but we'll deal with that in a moment. In fact, we could go in with the... We could go in with this floor here. Which might look kind of interesting. So let's see, can I... If I do this kind of thing here... It's 9,000. 
then that is uh, 18,050. Yeah, that's kind of pricey. Okay, the floors are in, and I have to say, it's looking kind of cool in here. I also decided to throw in some ticketing kiosks just along here so that people can check themselves in again. I also neatened up the ticketing area up here as well because I thought that would look a little bit better. But for the most part, I mean, customer satisfaction is 87.8%, which is great news. This area is looking pretty good over here. I haven't fixed this queue yet, but we'll get to that. I'll probably... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? We have a little bit of money. Let's go to foundations and let's see if we can just extend this right out. Yeah, we totally can. So we'll get this extended out into a proper area for that particular uh, gate. Gate A2. That definitely needs to be done. People are coming in there. They're all going down through there towards baggage claim, which I absolutely love. I love how that looks. I love that they don't go back through security anymore. That's like my favorite thing. They just, they don't go back through security. That's all I need them to do. Uh, so this area is now set a little bit better. If we got to build, we can get the carpet in here, which I absolutely want. Uh, so we'll do that sort of thing. And once that's built, we could probably do with getting possibly a second. We could get a second queue, but I don't know if we need it. I really don't know if we actually would need a second queue in here. But what I would like to do is destroy this gate, or this uh, gate agent desk, and then if we just go and look for another one, uh, we can speed the game up whilst we're demolishing that, because what I can do is, as soon as that one is destroyed, I can get another one for free, which I kind of want. Uh, so I'll put a gate agent desk there. I will put another one there, even though I just got that one for free. Um, so yeah, we'll do that, then we'll assign this to that gate. And what we can do is go ahead and get rid of this queue here. And if I do this quick enough, we're not going to have too many problems with this interrupting flights. Uh, so just get rid of all of that. Let's go to expand the queue. And we'll have the queue go like this. So that it's not obstruct- oh, that's a pain. I kind of wanted it to come down here. Let's maybe shrink that a little bit. We'll expand it right into the corner, bring it around like this, and bring it just straight across the bottom here. Which is a bit of a length to go, but we'll extend it like that and that should be fine. Uh, unless maybe I should have, um, maybe I should have had it just end here. That probably would have been a better idea. Let's try that, because I think having it go to the side of the ticketing queue will be a problem. Uh, so have it go to there. And then start slinking around like this. We're going to have to shrink it back a little bit and bring it... No, oh, hello, wrong button. Uh, bring that down like this, up and around, and then across. Unless I want to snake it back and forth just to get a little bit more room again. Which, probably not a bad idea. Just make sure that enough people can get onto uh, this flight without too much of a hassle. Even though I imagine snaking back and forth like this in a queue would be a lot of hassle, but you get what I mean. Uh, now, what I'd like to do here is go this way. And I'd like to come up and around so that we have a decent little uh, corridor there for anyone that wants to uh, get off of this flight. They can come straight down this way and straight through and all that stuff, and that should be absolutely perfect. It also seems that the game makes a really horrible noise. Oh, Jesus, that's amazing. That is, a, that is uh, by amazing, I mean, it's amazing that anyone thought that was a good sign to put in the bloody game. Jesus. Um, yeah, let's bring that back a little bit. Just a little bit like that. So that'll be fine. People can, you know, get to the queue here, and then the passengers getting off that plane come down through this way. That should be totally fine. Uh, let's go to objects. Let's get a bench and throw it there. And we can get another one and actually throw it there if we want to, which I do kind of want to, so we'll get that done. We could also throw a food vending machine into that spot if we want to, and maybe electronics vending just... The I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Amazing. Okay. Slightly unexpected. Let's assign this to that gate. And assign it to both queues. And assign you to both queues as well. And what I'm thinking is... Honestly, this queue here could maybe be first class only. Maybe. That might not be an amazing idea, but we'll see what happens with it. It might help filter things around a little bit quicker. It might not. I'm not too worried about it. But we should be able to make this work. I mean, this this is a nice little expansion of this area. It does mean that this airplane gate is now a little bit more efficient. Uh, we are coming into the morning rush, and it does look like everybody's getting through here nice and quickly. 
quite a few uh, first class passengers there, which is actually kind of surprising. But there we go. Everybody's going to get off of that plane. They're going to filter around through the queues or past the queues. And then this plane has room for 74 people. Yeah, so 74 people can get onto that plane. They are going to start boarding. Oh, I've just realized that... Uh, oh, no, there is someone attending that desk. And it does look like uh, it went relatively quickly there. 71 of 74 boarded. Everybody's getting out of here. Security is no longer a bottleneck. This is good. There's a couple of people that complain every now and then. That looked like someone that was just late to their flight. It didn't look like it was my fault at all. I'm kind of pleased about this. Definitely kind of pleased about this. I think the next step for what we have here is going to be expanding out this way even further and going ahead and getting ourselves a large airplane uh, gate so that we can get bigger planes, deal with more passengers, and all's well. To be honest, an, a large airplane gate is going to be good, but I also think getting a third uh, regular one is going to be good as well because it means that if a plane is late, we can have regular services continue because they can just go to gate A3 as opposed to having both gates full because a plane didn't depart in time. That seems like it would, would be a pretty good idea. Either way, this all seems like it's working really nicely. The last thing I'd like to do for today is go into carpet and get myself a horrible brown carpet for this entire hallway just here. Then bring it through into the uh, baggage claim area. Right up to about there. And do the same for all of this. Do the same there. The same there. And the same just at the door. I'm also thinking it could be an idea to get a couple more uh, food vending machines in here. Although I can't do that at the moment, so we'll not worry too much about it. I also need more janitors. Well, I mean, we have 12 of them, but... I feel like I might need more. Well, you know what? The place is relatively clean. So maybe not. Maybe we don't need more janitors. Maybe we're doing fine. How much money are we making per day at the moment? 200,000 should everything go okay. You know what? That's not bad. That is definitely not bad. I'm actually really... I'm really pleased with the setup that we have here. I really am. You know what, ladies and gents? I'm going to leave it there for today. I'd say we've had a bit of a success. Little bit more of a tedious episode. I do apologize if it's not your thing, but I feel like it was completely necessary. We've expanded security into something that really works. We've got baggage claim down here, so if we need to expand security again, we can. But we can also put cafes in here. So once you get through security, you can get to cafes and all that stuff. And eventually, I would like to put some stuff like that down here so that people that are... Heading towards baggage claim can maybe go and um, get themselves something. Because there is the occasional person that gets off a plane and does go to the food vending machine. So a small cafe down here could certainly be a thing. Uh, restrooms might be a thing to have down there as well. But we'll see about that. Either way, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you, Kevin, for watching. This has been Sim Airport Part 3. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye